They're coming up the stage right now. He headlines clubs all over the country. He's from Boston, Mass. Boston, Mass. He started the uh, Boston Comedy Festival 10 years ago. It's been great. A lot of great comics come from Boston. He also was overseas uh, in uh, Iraq and Kuwait. He, did, he released a book called Embedded Comedian, and he's, he's going back again. He's a great guy. Please welcome. He's very tall, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for my dear friend, Mr. Jim McHugh. Yeah. Let's for Howie one more time, huh? Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm in a good mood. I just lost 68 pounds. Yeah. I've been uh, stalking a jogger. <laughs> right. I, uh, I'm a little worried about the global warming. I don't think global warming is going to be good for me. I just read an article that uh, certain types of people can get skin cancer, even if they wear sunblock, people who are pale or light-skinned, people with freckles or warts, people with red hair. Why don't they just say Irish people? Why don't I change my name to Jim McMalinoma? How would that be? I'm six foot six, you know what a bottle of sunblock goes for these days? Chemotherapy is cheaper for me right now. And uh, one of the good things about global warming is though I live up in Boston, we get a lot of really crappy weather. And uh, I have a lot of friends that call me to tell me how crappy my weather is on a regular basis. My friend always calls me in the dead of winter, hey Jim, he was watching news, have another blizzard, I don't know how you do it, man. It's 80 degrees out here in LA, I got oranges growing in the backyard. Man. So I called Ken back, I was like, hey Ken, how's it going? Yeah, I was watching news, couldn't help most of your house slide down the hill in the mud. <laughs> And what am I doing? I'm buying a sweater, you jackass. <laughs> Canadians are very politically correct. I was working up there. The guy corners me as if I can change policy for the United States government. He says, we have, a, we have more standing lumber than you have in states. I said, well, that's a huge wow. He says, uh, we have more fresh water than you have in states. I said, really? I guess all we have is the military. So guess what happens when we get thirsty? <laughs> They say the bumblebees are dying, but the mosquitoes are breeding like crazy. The mosquitoes make love every three seconds. Call me. I was in Vegas. I got a little ticked off because so I'm staying in the hotel room right on the shower curtain. It has a thing that says, we at Harrow's are trying to help the environment here in Las Vegas. And we'd appreciate it if you would reuse your towel. That kind of pissed me off, because I'm looking out the window and across the street, they got a volcano that kicks out 30,000 gallons of water <laughs> every 30 minutes, right? Down the street, they got a pyramid that shoots light into outer space and fries the hair off the astronauts' balls every time they go over. You walk home from there, in the middle of the desert, they got a pirate ship battle right there in the sand. But no, it's Jim McHugh's fucking towel that's rolling in the ground. Just got my dry my Irish balls with a clean towel. 